Hey, welcome back. This week I'm going to walk you through a draw on text reveal animation. This technique is a fun way to animate in text or line illustrations like this. Before diving into Procreate Dreams, let's break down the animation. I like to think of this animation in three parts. The first part is the write on text reveal animation. The second part is the looping wiggle effect on the text and accents. And the third part is motion keyframes as the accents scale up into place and at the end using keyframes to scale down the text and accents so they will disappear which allows it to seamlessly loop back to the start. For my project, I'm using 4K widescreen format and 12 frames per second, and I'm using a duration of 15 seconds. The first step will be to draw your illustration or lettering. Tip, it's important to keep lettering on a separate track to make it easier to apply the animated reveal effect. Next, let's animate the wiggle effect. To give my lettering a wiggle effect, I'm going to redraw the lettering two times. So I'll end up with three frames, which I will group and then duplicate to fill the duration of the animation. Next, I'll group it all into one big group. Next, I'll go down to the next track and I'll repeat this wiggle effect process on the accents around the text. Once I have both animations filling up the full duration, I'll play back to review the animation. Now I can work on the text reveal. To help me plan out the reveal, I'm going to sketch out an animation guide in a new layer above the lettering group. I'll start by drawing a line that will guide the path of the animation. And as you can see here, I like to use a color that's easy to see and that will stand out from the other colors I'll be using. And as I go, I'm also drawing arrows between the words to show the direction of movement. Next, I will draw tick marks on the path, which will show me how far to draw each frame. The tick marks also help you plan out the timing and duration for the animation. For instance, you could use less tick marks and have it fill in quicker. You could also have it start out slow and then use less tick marks in the following words to have the animation speed up as it goes. And once done, I'll exit flipbook mode and I'll fill the duration of the sketch. Lastly, I'll reduce the opacity and rename the content. Since I want the reveal to have a little delay before it starts, I'm going to move the text group back a couple frames in the timeline. Next, I'll add a new track directly above the text group. And then I'll make sure to switch to a thicker stroke brush. Now I'll return to the flipbook mode and I'll start tracing the path using the tick marks to determine how far I'll go each time. And as you can see, as I get closer to the end of a stroke, I'll add some dots so there's a nice flare in the animation as it completes a word. And I'll repeat the process as I follow the path and fill in the next two words. And with that done, I will now exit the flipbook mode and I'll group all the frames and rename the group. Next, I'll tap on the group to bring up the mask options and tap on layer mask. By applying the layer mask, now the type group will be revealed as the above group fills out. Now I'll turn off the sketch layer and play back the animation to review it. 
Now I'll add the keyframe animations. I'll start by turning on the accent animation group. And since I want it to animate in after the text has been revealed, I will move the group back to align with the end of the mask animation. Next, I'll move the playhead several frames back and I'll add a motion scale keyframe. I'll also add an opacity keyframe on the same frame. Next, I'll move the playhead to the start of the group, and then I'll add a new motion scale keyframe, and I'll reduce the scale to 0.5. Next, I'll add a new opacity keyframe a couple frames behind the start of the group, and I'll set the opacity to 0. And as I mentioned during the animation breakdown, since I want the animation to loop seamlessly, I'll keyframe the end of the animation so it disappears. First, I will drag the end of the text and accent group several frames from the end of the timeline so the animation will disappear for a bit before animating in after it loops. Next, I'll go to the 14 second mark and I'll add a scale keyframe on the text and accent groups. Then, I'll go to the end of the text group and I'll add a new keyframe and set the scale to zero. Now I'll add a new keyframe to the end of the accent group and set it also to zero. And that's it. Now I have this cool animation made with a couple simple animation techniques. And thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more Procreate Dreams tutorials and let me know in the comments what you'd like me to cover next.